Kelis Castle is a castle located in Batu Gajah, Perak, Malaysia. The unfinished ruined mansion was built by a Scottish painter named William Kelly Smith. According to differing accounts, it was either a gift for his wife or a home for his son. Have you ever thought about what happened to the construction site that have been abandoned for such a quite long time? In this video, we will discover about safety and security, environment impact and control practices to improve the design and constructability of abandoned Kelly's Castle. After looking around the infrastructure, we managed to find only one drainage system which is located between the Kelly's Castle and the Class House. This is the drainage system that we managed to find. Now, I would like to talk about Kelly Castle rooftop. For your information, all the visitors can climb to the rooftop. But there is no security provided here. As you can see, I will land my leg here. And there is no line safety provided here. Besides that, this rooftop has a flat rooftop. It's supposed to be in gable or keep shape rooftop. It can prevent the stagnant water when it rains. For Kelly's Castle and Keller's House, both of the floors are mostly damaged. The floor corroded because of rain and also most construction part of the building are not finished including the floor. It can cause injuries to the tourists. Since Kelly Castle is an abandoned construction site, so there will be a lot of cracking structure in here. So, there were two common or major causes that causing the cracking. Number one is ground movement. The second one is decay of the clay brick. So here, we show you the example of the major cracking. In this building, there were a lot of major crack structure that we can see. This is actually not safe for those who come to visit. Accident might be happen if there is no security on this place. The most common causes of cracking are ground movement, caused by clay shrinkage, landslip, vibration, foundation failure due to the decay of soft clay brick is also a major problem that we can see in Kelly's castle. As you can see, there is a wall support between the building. The wall might be falling due to the major crack that happened in this structure. They don't provide any stairs real here. Besides, the space and corner are quite small too. If there is many visitors here and need to use these stairs, there will, there will be a big problem. Welcome to the master bedroom. As you can see here, there are a lot of opening for good lighting and ventilation. All of the rooms in Kelly's Castle is built like this. So uh, the rooms has a very good ventilation and lighting. As for the bathroom, there is less ventilation and lighting than the bedroom. As you can see, the only place that the light can come to the bathroom is 
through this door if there is no door then this bathroom will be totally dark in addition as you can see on the floor there is no floor trap at all throughout the whole bathroom floor as for the firefighting system and also the first aid it is not provided for both of this building and also for the uh, hallway light it is not given and also the exit signage as these two are the most important parts for escape routes for emergency From our observation, due to the incomplete drainage system, stagnant water will occur which contributes to the breeding of Aedes mosquitoes. As for the improvement that can be made for this infrastructure, the first one would be to repair the floor condition or to put a warning signage to warn the visitors about the floors. Next, waterproofing paint needed to be applied to the rooftop to prevent leaks.